it going YouTube? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to talk about my Motorola Droid Turbo and we're going to show you guys how to manually factory reset the device. So if your device isn't booting up for some reason or you're having problems you just want to reset it so you can sell it, this is going to be how to do that. So uh, just so you guys can see I do have some of my own custom applications or my own applications installed I should say. Stuff set up how I want it. Here's my device. What you're going to do is you're going to power it off. Go ahead, power off. And then the trick to this is a couple key presses once the device is off. So you're going to want to hold, push and hold your volume down button. Go ahead and hold it. And then hit your volume, your power button, I mean, until you see this screen. This is bootloader menu. So all I did was hold volume down and then power and hold both of them until you see the screen. Very simple to do, right? So this is your bootloader or bootloader menu. From here you have multiple options. You can scroll with your volume up and down. So this would be start would just restart the device. Restart bootloader, which is what you're on right now, just restart this. Recovery mode, which we'll get back to. Power off just turns off the device. And once you're done selecting, you just select with the uh, once you're done scrolling, you just select with the power button. Uh, factory, barcodes, BP tools, QCOM, bootloader log, which just tells you what's going on in the bootloader and back around. So those are all your menus. What you want to do is you want to come in here to recovery mode and hit the power button. This is going to boot your Motorola Droid Turbo into custom recovery. And now, if you see this, most of the time, it's, it's hard to say, sometimes this varies. Sometimes you have to hit like a different combination of buttons when you see this little Android guy on the side to get the menu to pop up. So I'm going to guess it's going to be volume down and power again. And just at the same time hitting. Maybe volume up and power. The combinations sometimes change. Alright, so the combination should be volume up and power. There we go. So I held volume up and then I hit power. And that gives me to my menu. So let me show you this menu. Alright, I kind of zoomed in here for you guys. And basically the same thing, you scroll with your volume buttons and you select with your power button. So let me kind of go over this really quick. Basically if we go to the bottom, we have wipe cache partition. This is something if your phone's getting kind of laggy, um, it can't hurt to do that. You just hit power, wipe cache partition, and that's going to get your device to uh, run a little bit better. So uh, it's something I do upon occasion. It won't hurt anything to wipe it, nothing will get deleted off your device, it just cleans it up and lets it repopulate on first boot. The next one up would be wipe data factory set, which is what we're going to do to do this. Then you have apply update from ADB, gets a little technical, apply update from SD card, again a little technical, or just reboot system, would hit power and you just reboot the system out of recovery, would not do anything. So we're going to go down to wipe data factory reset. Scroll all the way down to where it says yes, delete all user data, and hit it. So at the bottom of the device here, swing this up, you can see it is wiping data factory reset. That is what we are doing. So wipe data factory reset wipes data um, and cache partitions, and basically completely resets your phone. It'll be just like it was coming out um, out of stock, just like you took it out of the box. So let's let this thing finish up. Should just be another quick second and it'll be wrapped up. Okay, there you go. You can see it just finished. Um, everything says good. Wipe. Um, finished. Wipe data. Everything's completed. It says that in a little bit in the bottom there. Right now you're highlighted on reboot system, so hit your power button. And you are good to go. That is how you wipe data factory set your device. Like I said, this is going to return this device to just like it was when you took it out of the box when you got it from Motorola. Very simple. You'll have to do all your initial setup again, put in your Gmail, all your stuff's completely wiped off, and it's like starting new. Wow, that I think is going to be a very fast boot up. Let's see how this thing goes. I love that boot animation. Very clean, no Verizon junk. I'm pretty happy with that. Quick note, first boot up might take, eh, I can't imagine it taking any longer than five minutes, but it's going to take longer than normal than a normal boot up because you just wiped everything out and it has to repopulate that information. So be prepared to wait five minutes on first boot. Alright, there we go. Looks like we are booting up. 
Now, mine says initializing, please wait while we prepare your phone. Um, I don't think you're gonna have this if you have a SIM card in it that works. I've got a SIM card in it that's not activated, so it's doing some funny stuff. Let's let this thing finish booting. All right, we're up to the setup wizard. There you go. That is it. Um, like I said, my thing had that initializing thing. You might see that, you might not. Not a worry either way. Here you go, you can see, just go ahead and go through your setup and you'll be back and running on your Droid Turbo. Hope you guys like this video here on how to manually factor reset your Droid Turbo. Um, please stay tuned for more videos on this device as I'll be doing a bunch of them. Hope you guys like it and subscribe, check me out at RootJunkie.com. I got a page specifically for this device and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie, out. Yeah.